Good morning, Pastor Jerry here from Crossroads Church, Cleburne. It is time for our daily Bible reading. I pray that you're having a good Monday and that you have a blessed week. Today's reading comes from Psalm 15. So if you would like to open up your Bible, I'll give you just a second to open to Psalm 15. Or you can follow along on the screen as I read it or simply sit back and listen as I read Psalm 15. So I do pray that you're having a blessed week this week, that uh, you will have a blessed week, and enjoyed seeing everybody in church yesterday. And uh, if we missed you, uh, we missed having you there if you weren't there. And we look forward to everybody being back together when all this these lockdowns and people staying away for the virus and things like that is over with, that we can get back to uh, a more full fellowship time and come together once again so now let's start let's start our daily reading at psalm 15 so if you would um, go to your bible or watch on the screen who shall dwell on your holy hill psalm 15 a psalm of david O lord who shall sojourn in your tent who shall dwell on your holy hill he who walks blamelessly and does what is right and speaks truth in his heart who does not slander with his tongue, and does no evil to his neighbor, nor takes up a reproach against his friend, in whose eyes a vile person is despised, but who honors those who fear the Lord, who swears to his own hurt, and does not change, who does not put out his money at interest, and does not take a bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be moved. I love the question that's asked right at the beginning. David asked, who shall sojourn in your tent? Who shall dwell in your holy hill? So who shall stay in relationship with the Lord? Who shall be in the Lord's presence and who shall remain in the Lord's presence? It's those who do right. Those who are doing right and doing God's will, they're staying there. And this doesn't. This is not a salvation issue, but this is a relationship issue. Who's going to stay in relationship with the Lord? The ones who are doing the right things and staying in the Lord's will and walking with the Lord. Then you get to stay in that fellowship, and it's a wonderful place to be. There is no greater place than to be in fellowship and know that you're in the presence of the Lord and that he's with you in everything that you're doing, that he's blessing what you're doing because you're doing what he asked you to do and really there's no greater uh there's no sadder place to be than apart from the lord it's dangerous it's lonely and it's just so isolated and we don't want to be there we want to be in the presence of the lord so continue to do what he asked you to do and continue to walk where he's moving you I pray that you're encouraged by this. I pray that you will have a blessed week once again. I am praying that for you. I'm praying that you grow in your relationship with God, with your family, with your spouse, if you have a spouse, and with those around you. Remember that I love you. I'm praying for you. And may God bless you and keep you until we're together again. Have a great day.